In this quick video, I want to show you how to repeat your projects and or your task or whatever card you want in Trello. So it's a power-up called Card Repeater. That's one of my favorite power-ups. All you have to do to get it is to click the sidebar menu by clicking Show More and click Power-ups. So if you're a free Trello user, you'll have one power-up per card for something like this. If you pay $5 a month for Trello Gold, you uh, you get up to three of these fancy power-ups. Power and in another video, which I can link to below, I, uh, I, I show you how to get free Trello Gold pretty much forever, as long as you uh, follow the instructions on that. So you can see right here, I'm using three different power-ups. One of them is the card repeater. Uh, it's very easy to enable or disable. When you uh, click enable, you'll notice that it has this little repeats button up here. And this is a great way to see all the different repeats that you have for a particular board in Trello. One thing to note is repeats are only for particular boards. So uh, if you want another repeating card in another Trello board, you just got to make one in another Trello board. So once you click enable on all of your cards, so I'm going to just test one out right here. There is a new button on the side that says repeats. So you can click that open and you can have repeats go out weekly, monthly, or yearly. So let's just see what weekly looks like. By default, it goes out at noon. So we can say, okay, I want to change that to 8 instead of p.m. You want it to be a.m. Um, you want it to happen every Sunday. And you know what? It doesn't need to be every week. Just every other week would be good. And I want it to go to my to-do list. All right. So the top uh, yeah, we'll keep it at the top of the to-do list. You can even check to make sure that it, it's going to do the thing that you expect because it says, you'll see this card repeat on November 12th, 2017 and November 26th. So if we look at our calendar right here, we can say, okay, the 12th, all right, that's Sunday. And then if we go further, all right, 26th, that's the next Sunday. So looks like they know how to repeat task every, other, every two weeks. So if this card is deleted or moved to another board, we'll stop repeating it. So that's what I mentioned before. You can't move this card to another board and have it continue to repeat. It's got to be on this very same board. Press save right here. And this card will continue to repeat with whatever checklist or comments, links, uh, or, or anything that you put in here. And if you want to end that repeat, so you can see... Um, I've got all my repeats right here. Ooh, I don't actually want this test one repeating. You can just open it up, and instead of archiving, you have to actually click the repeats button and remove that repeat right there. So that is how you add and take away repeating cards. You can see some examples right here. I have, to save myself time, is uh, Debbie, my virtual assistant. I have her review her past week. So all of the cards in the done pile actually automatically get moved to another board using Butler, another uh, uh, wonderful power-up that you can use in Trello. I'll link to that video below in the notes. And um, she reviews uh, how the work went, if she needed any help, if she loved it, if she hated it, if she was neutral. Another one that I have is saving the last month's email into Google Drive. Uh, I send about three, four, or five newsletters a week, or not a week, a month. And instead of having them all uh, pile up in my in ConvertKit, I have them backed up in Google Drive. Um, so I have a weekly podcast. This is something Debbie does. She, she preps the show notes in WordPress for me. You can see right here, I even am able to link to another board where that work will live. And in addition to that, there is a SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, that I have in Google Drive that shows her exactly how it's done. And then I ask her actually to ping me, to just at mention me when she's done with it so I can uh, finish off the show notes as I need to do. This is super helpful because not only do I not have to remember and delegate as much work as I was to Debbie, she doesn't have to ask me for anything and I don't have to remember or she doesn't even have to remember these repeating weekly or monthly check-ins that we have or, or tasks that we have. So hopefully this is a, a tool that you can figure out how to use in your business. If you're considering using Trello as a project manager for your small business, I would uh, I would encourage you to look at another resource that I have. If you go to ZacharySexton.com forward slash Trello dash tour, I have a whole 70-minute video on all the ins and outs 
of Trello so you can get a sense of what the landscape is and how to use the tool and how to best uh, take advantage of all of its wonderful features. Thank you so much for checking this video out. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe and give me some give me some thoughts on uh, on what I need to be doing because I would be happy to create more cards. Man, it looks like Debbie is actually working right now. Funny, funny. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk soon.